Oh my God, guys, check it out. We got a basilisk, a male brown basilisk that's got himself wedged into my gate here. Kate saw him, so we're gonna have to help this guy out. I just can't leave him here, that's horrible. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennett. This week's shout out goes to longtime supporter, Kristen McIntosh. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. So let's get him to bite my hat so he don't, oh, he's getting smart, oh, yeah. so he don't bite me. Okay. And then what we gotta do, man, what do you think there? He's a little sharp on the back there. I got his back. Yeah, you know, I, I don't mean, know. I could probably get, uh, I mean, I could pull him through, but as soon as his mouth comes Yeah, but this is what I worry about, that crest. Uh, um, yeah. I don't I mean, know. we can, I can try to put his, see this, I can try to put his knees through the hole and then have him go the way into you. Right, that's what I was thinking okay, also. Okay, then I've got to pull him back. You got to push him back a little bit. Yep. I'm going to push see if we can his hip squeeze. down. Yep. Get one. Yep, yep. Uh, that's okay. one. Ooh, we might have to do one at a time. Here. Yeah, we definitely okay. will have to do one at a time. Okay, oh, so uh, pull it. No, Careful. I don't want to break one of his toes. I don't want to hurt him either. Oh, can we fit that? That's such a small hole. Hold on. He's flexible. No, uh, I don't think let so. Me, let me see if I can just push. Well, careful with those little him. legs. I don't want to hurt him. All right, so let's see here. He's nervous. I think we're going to have to pull him out backwards. You're worried about it risk ripping the crest on his head? <clears throat> yeah, if we pull him out backwards, but what we might have to do is get my snips. And cut open it. the hole up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're going to have to open that hole. Okay. Okay. Um, I can hold him here like this. Yeah, so he just hold him here. Look, it. he's even got a regenerated tail. So that tail broke off and grew back already. No way. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna have to just cut this. Um, <clears throat> we promise we won't purposely try to cut it off again just to get you out. Oh my gosh. What a Look poor little this. guy here. He got himself in a predicament. That's a great idea with the hat though. It distracted him because he was going yeah. after your finger. Well, that would be my until, finger. <laughs> until we put the hat there, it was your finger that he wanted. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Terrible. Yeah, that's horrible, right? Uh, we'll get you out, dude. All right, man, I'm gonna go get that. Pin snips, wire cutters, open that hole up. Look at that. Okay guys, so what we gotta do is see if we can cut there. It's so delicate. We got though. 10 snips. We do. So that I think the best way might just be to pull him out backwards because see how he no way it's could, just this how are you gonna get the legs around you know what I mean right I'm there? gonna cut it you think yeah here I'm cutting it back onto that hat right there what a great idea the cat is that gonna clip it oh, I hope so Damn. am I near his body part? no you're okay um, I don't I just don't believe you're gonna get through that oh metal with that dude this is terrible. such a big piece Oh man. I can't believe how calm he is right now. Well, yeah, he's... He knows we're not trying to attack him. Anymore. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think he's happy to... We might have to put some corn oil oh, I or think something. you got... I think you almost got his... Uh, there you go, right there. Watch that finger. I don't know how far his head can twist, but... He was aggressively after that finger when you first went down to He's grab exhausted. him. He's exhausted. He's probably been fighting this for a while. Right. We'll get you out, dude. Yeah, we'll we'll get him out. Oh, I see what you mean. You didn't want the top of that. See that crest? Not, yep, yep. We're gonna have to fold that. What down. do you got there as front? Oh, I think we got it. It's got a rather large cranium. Here we go. Oh wow! He How really... did he get through there? How did you get that big head right through? Oh, we got oh. it! <laughs> Look at that guy. Sweet. So this is the brown basilisk. It's an invasive species here in Florida. These guys are everywhere. They started in Broward County and they've made their way south and north. Um, I used to never see these lizards up here about five years ago. Uh, and in the last five years, they've exploded. So many hatchlings, so that many recently? adults. That recently. I had no idea. It's incredible. So these guys also are called the Jesus lizard, and that's because they have the ability to run on water. They are so fast that they're able to do it with these extremely strong hind legs. But look, these have absolutely no webbing. So they're running on water just from speed alone. And because of the way that their toes are, they just break the surface 
area, or they don't. Or they don't. Break, they they keep the surface tension exactly. in the water, and then they whip across it. They do. It's pretty wild to see, actually. It is wild. Now this guy is exhausted. I don't think he'll run on water, but we could go ahead and let him go. And, and then see. there's the other, the tail. You said it looks yeah. like he's lost it already. He did lose it already. Mm -hmm. You could tell. Um, Look so how much different it is right there. Exactly. So that's something right. called caudal autonomy. The vertebra here, um, they can break, and once they break, they regenerate the tail, but there's no vertebrae in it. So the tail isn't, and it never quite looks the same as the original tail, um, but it is a last line of defense if this animal were young, probably when this guy was young, judging on the size of it, um, he probably dropped his tail to get out of some danger. So you think he's so so slow at the moment because he's been fighting in the Yeah, he's just, he's also playing dead right, a little right, bit, he's but he's also slow. got, if I look at him, he's got tiny little ticks on him. I did notice something near you. You know, when we came up before I Here turned the camera on, he was so wild. See? He was doing so much work to try to get himself free. There's a tick. Yep. Get rid of that. Um, whereas now he is completely motionless, like you said, playing dead. Yeah, that's what it um, is. Because he was, his legs were flailing when we walked up. Because I think he thought, you know. Not a lot of reptiles have stamina. Um, these animals are designed for short bursts of speed. That's what being cold-blooded is. Their hearts aren't designed to pump blood that efficiently uh, like a warm-blooded animal. Okay, so, um, you know, with the exception, of course, of the alligators and crocodiles, they have a different heart. Um, these guys, I believe they have two chamber hearts. So uh, they're not getting the full four chambers of oxygenation so they're not able to go very fast for very long. Yeah, until we let him go and then he's gonna bolt. And this is part of his deal. If I play dead, maybe I can get away. So kudos to Kate for spotting this dude. Oh, he's coming back to life. Do you guys wanna see if he'll run on water? Let's go let him go by the pond. I doubt he'll run on water. He'll probably turn around and go to the nearest bush. But let's try it anyway. Well, we certainly have a lot more water than oh, normal. Oh yes, we do, let's go over here. Oh, there's no, normally there's bank. a bank we can walk down to. All right. Uh, How cool is this though, friends? We got ourselves. Oh, so oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went right through. I could still see him running. Oh, that's he awesome. is gone. All right, guys. Well, we did a good deed for the day. Even though he's an invasive species, there's so many of them. Nothing I can do about it. In my yard, he's a wild animal that needed help and I let him go. So there you have it. There's another invasive species. Yeah. The curly tail lizard. They're from the Bahamas. Isn't that funny? I just chased one of these around slinkies. Yep. And the brown anoles are from Cuba. So Florida really is a mosaic of reptile species. They really are cool to see run. I, if you haven't, Google yeah. basilisk or Jesus fish running on Jesus water. Lizard, it is, Jesus lizard. It is yeah. very cool. It's Jesus awesome. lizard, yeah. All right, guys, there you go. A little impromptu episode, saving an animal. I love helping animals, and uh, whew, we're gonna just relax for a little bit. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.